Hi Aquarius, welcome to your three month spring reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising. For any of you that are new to my channel, my name is Sam. If you could please subscribe, like and share, that way you'll continue to get messages of um, or notifications of all the readings that I post on YouTube. But you'll also be helping my channel grow. Being a part of my channel, when I meditate before each reading, I can connect to your energy and draw it in, make it more personal for you. All right, guys, this is going to be for April, May, and June. I'm going to do love, a card for love for each month, a card for career, a card for finance, for finance, guidance from spirit, and then the overall outcome of the three months, okay? I please have a message for the month of April. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. All right, all tied up came out, but it didn't flip over. So there might be something that you're feeling like the illusion of being tied up, like strapped, you know, just feeling like bogged down, like you got too much going on, adjacent possibilities for the month of April. So there might be possibilities coming your way that gets you out of feeling all tied up. May spirit. It didn't flip over here and now. For the month of May. Thank you, spirit. Chaos and conflict. Round and round. So I feel like there's some kind of cycle that's bringing you chaos and conflict. Maybe that's what has you feeling tied up. But we'll see what Terrence has to say. For the month of June. Thank you, Spirit. Healing the heart. So you have a five, you have two threes. You have a six here, which could be broken down in another two threes. We'll see how many sixes come out. Now I'm going to do the same cards, but in a different... Can I please have a card for the month of April? A card for the month of April to go with adjacent possibilities. For the month of April. Thank you, Spirit. It is what it is. Card of six and six here. Let's see. For the month of May. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Strategy. Card of three. So this is six, six, three, three, three. Archangel Michael showing up. So you have Archangel Michael doing during these three months protecting you. All right, Aquarius. I feel like Arch Archangel Michael might provide be providing support, having a strategy. That you may not know about. For the month of June, healing the heart. Please clarify with another card. Healing the heart. Thank you, Spirit. I have a hair somewhere. Sorry, guys. Round and round. Wow. Yeah, there is definitely a cycle. Deep knowing. All right. 
guys like to say. Angels, Holy Spirit, could please have a card for April for Aquarius. The Tower. Guys, what is happening? The Tower when it comes to love. Maybe somebody's coming in with an apology. Can I please have a card for career for April? A card for career for Aquarius for the month of April. A card for career. Thank you, Spirit. Sage of Cups. Somebody might be making you an offer. When it comes to career, when it comes to a job, I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith. You're going to make that choice too. It's going to be something that you really like to do with a cup, with a cup, with it being a cup. Something's going to leave you feeling emotionally filled. My finances for the month of April. Five of Cups, guys. All right, so right for the month of April, you are going to receive an offer when it comes to your career, your job, your source of income. Maybe it's maybe it's another like position. Maybe it's a raise. Maybe it's a way for you to level up where you're at. Because currently, during the month of April, you're going to be struggling when it comes to your finances. Can I please have a card for love when it comes to May? For the month of May. the moon I really feel like somebody or you you may be keeping your feelings from someone a secret you you might be hiding your feelings to yourself somebody might be coming towards you like a secret admirer. They see you as somebody they want to get to know, somebody that they can have a commitment with. Can I please have a card for career during my thank you, spirit? The fool. Yeah, guys, you're gonna take a leap of faith towards this offer. Have patience, spirit saying, but it's going to be, it's going to provide, this offer is going to provide that equal, that equal flow of energy for you. It's going to bring that balance back to your life. It's going to keep you feeling fulfilled. What about finances for me? They didn't flip out. I mean, they didn't flip over. We're not going to take them. Finances for me. Thank you, Spirit. Four of Cups. You're going to start saving. 
don't do anything crazy like going on a trip where you might have to travel by car or because of the price of gases. It's basically spirit saying like, lay low, work on your finances. You Maybe by you accepting this offer and taking that leap, eventually it's going to pay off. You're definitely, I feel like you're definitely going to take the offer in whatever situation it resonates for you because it's the, you're already feeling strapped. That might be where the chaos and conflict come from. You're going to have possibilities. All right, can I please have a card for love when it comes to the month of June? A card for love for Aquarius. I knew I was going to do this for the month of June. Daughter of Coins. So there you are. You're getting you're getting some kind you're getting some kind of offer. You might be giving some kind somebody some kind of offer. They might be coming towards you. Um with the daughter of coins, they might be coming towards you to give you a present. Could be your secret admirer coming towards you. Could be somebody that with healing the heart, it could be something that maybe somebody that caused you pain. That caused you to feel sad with the moon. But for love and relationships over the next three months, there's going to be something you don't expect. It's going to rattle you a little bit. I don't think you're going to see it coming with the moon here. But you also might be hiding your feelings. But you see how she's, it's like the shadow self, it's coming to light. It's starting to, you know, it's starting to bring more light. It's going to eventually be more light than darkness. Things are coming to light. I believe you either offer somebody something or they come to you and offer you something. Love a relationship. They might gift you something. See how she has like the little plant in her hand? It might be a small gesture that it starts to feel like heal your heart. Career for the month of June. The lovers. Yeah, you're going to make that decision. You're going to make that choice. You're going to do you're going to make this choice with your heart. See how the light is coming? Look at this. Like I said, Archangel Michael is with you during this season, during these next few months. But just as I said, there was going to be more light than darkness. The lovers popped out for career. Maybe for relationships. Guys, if you're not already in a relationship and you're single or you, you already are in a relationship, this might just be, you know, cycles. Like, the tower just might be like a way of not being able to do anything. You might have things going wrong at your home. Your refrigerator might go. There might be some plumbing issues or Things that you need to do within the home that you don't expect. No, I really feel like there's going to be some kind of something's going to happen in the month of April that feels like an upheaval for you. It's going to keep you feeling a little rattled when it comes to relationships and love. It could be a disagreement with the person you're with. It could be, for some of you, it could be a breakup. Others of you, you could might run into somebody that you didn't expect. But it brings things to light. It, it heals the heart. It's like this, you're transforming the way you need to from this tower event. 
by June, you're doing things that you like to do. You're making choices that are, that are healing your heart, that are making you happy. And there's all that light shining in the stars. For finances for the month of June. Thank you, Spirit. Brand new cycle is starting when it comes to finances. Can you please clarify this tower for love in April? Love in relationships, spirit. Please clarify this tower. Thank you. There definitely might be an ending to something with the death card here. Something that has to do with your home. But, guys, I feel like if there's something that happens within the home, something that has to end... Even though... It, even though there's an ending, I feel like there's a coming together. Like it is what it is. It's basically like blah, blah, blah. It's like you might be in something that you don't want to be in. And for the longest time, you just let it go. And then you realize that you do have possibilities. You do have, you know, if you are feeling all tied up, that's an illusion. You might end something. But in turn, you're going to find a lot of support. Can you please clarify the moon for the month of May? The moon card for love and relationship. The moon card for love and relationship. Ace of Cups. You know what this is? You know that now I'm, I just got, okay, there might have been chaos and conflict in something in a relationship. The tower could be the ending, but here's that transformation. Things are starting to come to light, not be a secret anymore. And there is love here. Look, a victory. Something that may have been an ending for you is going to transform and it's going to come back together. Cycles. Healing the heart. You're overcoming the sadness in the beginning. Spirit, what is your... What is your... Guidance. For spring. I'm still just thinking. I'm trying to go through the thoughts. What is the guidance you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, and rising for the months of spring. The guidance, spirit. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Spirit is saying it's. I was confused. Spirit is saying it's going to be okay. There is. It could be um it could be an air sign, a fellow air sign. I feel like somebody's gonna come through and give you an offer. Something that you they have ended. What is the overall outcome for Aquarius? Three cards popped out, so we're gonna take them. Six of Cups. All right, Devonier of Cups, the Emperor, and the High Priestess. You're going to go with your intuition. It could be an Aries. It could be a fire sign. But basically, Aquarius, for the next three months, 
You have control of your emotions. You're healing from anything that may have hurt you, not just with um, relationships, with, you know, your finances being the five of cups in April. You're getting through that. You're taking the leap. You're working things out. You're closing out cycles that no longer serve you. You're not letting the cycles keep going around. The world card, you're ending these cycles. You got your emotions intact. You're leveling up and you're succeeding at the things that you're putting your mind to. And you're going with your intuition. There's going to be a victory. The Six of Cups is here and the Six of Wands was at the bottom of the deck the other time. There's going to be like this enlightenment of what you really want out of the next three months. It could be a fire sign. But the, for, with love and relationships, there's going to be a new, like a brand, there might be a second chance, is what I'm trying to say. A brand, another coming around. But this time, it's going to not be chaos and conflict. There's going to be love. Remember, Archangel Michael is guiding this, supporting you during these three months. And with the High Priestess, you know, you're on point. You're going with your intuition. You've got self-confidence. You've got a strategy hidden that people don't see. You're basically, the next three months starts out a little shaky, but by the beginning of summer, you're ready. You're on point. I'm going to pull a few more cards for clarity. Okay. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know for the next three months? Thank you. Be a beacon, be an inspiration, light the way for others. Pay attention to a rainbow. Spirit might be trying to get your, to get your attention. And this one wanted to pop out. Rose gold, cosmic pool, bathe in cosmic love, soak up wisdom. You might have um, a connection to animals. Okay, let's see what this one says. But with the Five of Cups in the world here, you're definitely ending the cycle of feeling shocked when it comes to finances. And there's an offer coming in that's going to heal your heart the next three months. Heart for Aquarius. Watch your words, 45, parrot spirit. And look at the bottom, number one, ant spirit, time to collaborate. See the pieces fitting together? So maybe spirit's telling you, Aquarius, this person coming in, watch your words so that there's no more hurtful words spoken. Any more, any more clarity? Any clarities? Just a few more, I'll take. All right, cross, destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, trials, sorrow, emotional loss. Yes, spirit is definitely protecting you, Aquarius. So if you're feeling sad, in the, ne in the beginning of April, about a loss from a loved one, somebody that, you know, you held close to your heart, spirit is with you. You're not alone. See, deception, jealousy, chaos, conflict. There's some kind of hurt you might go through. 
intuition, subconscious, fantasy, romance, high priestess, guys. There's somebody coming back towards you that transformed. They've realized the relationship. Okay? But it's also you leveling up. By you leveling up, by you taking this leap of faith towards this career, and by junior in a different state when it comes to your finances, there you're glowing. People see that. People there, you know, people are watching you level up. Imposing, powerful, independent, time alone, attitude is everything. Calm, cool, collected, confident. Right there, the emperor. All right, guys, so things are transforming for you, definitely. There's going to be an offer when it comes to your career and finances, a job. Somebody is going to make an offer that you're going to take this leap of faith towards, okay? You do have many possibilities beginning in April. And remember, Archangel Michael was at the bottom of that deck, so he's definitely guiding this, protecting you. So any sadness that you do go through, and please leave me a message because I will always send you healing energy. Whatever sadness that you are going through, you're not alone. Okay, guys? Things are going to end in your favor. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. Allow, trust, divine timing. Everything is going to work out for you in the next three months, okay? Might start off shaky, but have faith. And leave me a message and let me know how this resonates. If you're hurting, I will send you healing energy. If you need positive energy because you're nervous about this offer, you're nervous about your finances, you're nervous about this person who either hurt you or you may have hurt them, let me know. I will send you whatever you need for energy, okay? Love and light, guys. I will be back for a spring love reading. I will be back for many more readings. So if you are new, please subscribe, like, and share. Stay safe.